you always can remember it's a coping saw because the frame makes a C for coping. Genius, I know. All right, when you put the blade of the coping saw in, you always want the blade, the teeth of the blade, to point down. Okay? And then we're going to click it in right here. Just like that. You loosen the handle so it's nice and loose. I usually like to put it on top of like a bench or something. Spit in like that. And then you hold this little piece of metal, tighten it. Just like that. Now you're ready to cope. Let's check out our coping skills. Here's coping 101. Coping saw, pencil, holder. We're basically going to be cutting the contour of this molding. And to make it easier, um, I just take a pencil. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take my saw and I'm going to hold it at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to cut. As you can see, coping saws have a very small blade. The small blade allows you to cut curves with ease. Now I'm going to take this mini file and clean up the cut so I have a perfect fit. Just like that. After cutting the contour of the molding, it fits like a glove.